What's up guys, Rob from MyPPCTraining.com and in this video I'm going to show you some advanced keyword research using Google's new keyword planner. This is the new interface you're looking at right now and they still have the old one rolled out too and we'll get into that but this is pretty much going to be the standard moving forward. They're phasing all the old stuff out including the old interface so you got to get with the times and start knowing what you're doing. So let's get right to it. So you should be in your keyword planner right now. Now there's, you can either Google, just go to Google and type in Google Keyword Planner and it'll take you to this page. Or you can go into your AdWords, go to and type in Keyword Planner or click the wrench, Keyword Planner, which I think still takes you to the old interface. I'm not sure. So let's try it. It's been doing different things for different accounts. Yep, it's the old one. But either way, so let's get into the new one because this is going to be the new standard. So, okay, so you're starting a campaign and you want to find keywords to build your ad groups around. Let's dive right in. So let's use this example. It will be a limousine company in Philadelphia. Philadelphia. Limousine company. We'll start with our root keyword. Get started. download all these I don't recommend that right now I like to do it manually I guess there's several different ways you can do it and here's gonna be all your keywords that Google is suggesting so what we're gonna do is take the root keyword so this is gonna be this is gonna be its own ad group right here fill words with an ad group with Philadelphia so Philadelphia limousine company so that's one ad group so we'll take all the keywords down here limousine companies that's gonna be under that ad group Limousine service, that's its own ad group. Limousine service near me, that goes under this ad group. Limo service. So airport limo service, that's its own ad group. You kind of see what I'm doing here? You're taking themes and you're going to be breaking them up into their own ad groups. And how you're going to do this too is you're going to have Google Sheets or an Excel doc open. And each column, you'll do the root keyword. So for this ad group, Philadelphia Limousine Company, it will only have keywords in it, in this ad group with the word Philadelphia limousine or company and the same with limousine service the service near me you kinda of get what I'm doing here all the ad groups are going to be tightly themed keywords okay so let's scroll down airports going to be its own ad group party bus that's its own ad group car service Philadelphia if that's what the company has as a service sure why not that's an ad group Hummer Limo, that's going to be its own ad group. Limo Service Philadelphia, so that's going to go into the Philadelphia ad group. Town Car Service, that's its own ad group. So you can see what I'm doing here. And this is also going to be a great way to, to build out your negative keywords too. So you put in your root keyword, and this is what this is what Google is telling you. Like if, if we just bid broad match Philadelphia Limousine Company, Google will show our ad for all of these searches which obviously a lot of them you don't want to show for in one in one uh, ad group you'll get killed and have really really terrible quality scores so you want to go through these you want to build out your ad groups you can see here you got your searches and your um, estimated bids take those with the grain of salt so let's try an example of finding a negative keyword. Bomb, that's a good one. That's its own ad group. Wedding. Not transportation though, I do wedding limo. Limousine. Okay, JFK, that's a negative keyword for in Philadelphia. We're not going to JFK Airport. Unless that's its own ad group and you specifically want to do that. It's really up to the company. But I would negative that out for this example. Ride to airport, that's just way too broad. I would exact match negative that out. Rolls Royce limousine, I mean, unless your client's super rich, huh, I would negative out Rolls Royce. Sedan service, 
that's really broad. I would exact match that out unless you're doing sedan keywords. So every company's different with limousines. VIP limousine. That could be another brand. We have to dig in further, do a Google search, and see if that's an actual company called VIP Limousine in Philadelphia. And if not, get rid of it. Exact match it out. Or uh, you want to keep VIP because some people search stuff like that. Like VIP Limousine Service or something like that. And you got to go through all these keywords. And you got to look for stuff to negative out. And you're going to build your negative keyword list while you're just adding new ad groups. So what you're going to do is after you have an after you go through this huge list, which there's a lot, we're not going to do it for time's sake in here. You're going to go into your um, Google Sheets or Excel doc, and each column will be your root keyword for that ad group. So that's the ad group is going to be the column. You'll have a bunch of them going all the way across. And then what you're going to do is take the root keyword, put it in in here, and then it's going to spit out suggestions. And we're going to do just what I just told you to do: tightly themed keywords. So in our in our ad group for um, Philadelphia Limousine Company, it's only going to be keywords that have that in it or some variation of that in it. Same with if limousine services. It's, it's got to be extremely tightly themed, and your ads have to reflect that, and the landing page has to reflect that. That's how you get the unicorn ads, where you have the CTRs of 25 to 50% high conversion rates. It's, it's all about relevancy with Google and how valuable you can be to their users. Let me scroll to the bottom here. Yeah, so there's gonna be a lot of negatives. See, it keeps coming up too. So we got negative Rolls Royce. New York City, phrase match out, NYC. Don't want those keywords if we're in Philadelphia. So you kind of get what I'm doing here with the keyword research. It's really simple, guys. It's just it's all about breaking it up into very targeted ad groups and then having only very targeted keywords under each ad group. And while you're doing that, going through and building your negative list. And that's really, if, if you just follow that theme of building out the ad groups using this keyword research method, you're going to have such crazy high converting campaigns. It's ridiculous. And most people, I'd say probably 90-95% 90, 90, just get it all wrong and they'll screw it up and they'll and they'll get crushed and spend a ton of money because Google Google preys on people who don't know what they're doing. Unfortunately, they they need to monetize all this. So they don't give they don't give a shit if if it's not good for your campaign or you don't your company doesn't even do what the keyword is. If you put a broad mesh keyword in, they're gonna show all of this for that keyword. So that's why you gotta be careful. So like I always say, whenever starting a campaign or you're trying to fix a campaign that's failing right now, take it back to square one, start your ad groups, build them how I just showed you, and only use exact and phrase match keyword match types to start in every ad group. Get some data after, let's say, 30 days, 7, 14, or 30 days. I'd go 30 if I were you. Do, after 30 days, go back into each ad group and start adding in your winning keywords as modified broad match, not broad match, modified broad match, okay? And there's a difference, and it's basically the plus. If you ever see a campaign with the plus signs in front of the keywords, so it'd be like plus Philadelphia, plus limousine, plus company. That means you're that's telling Google those three words have to be in the search. Okay, that someone types for your ad to show broad match. It, it'll, they'll, if you put broad match Philadelphia limousine company, you could get any kind of car service. You can get Hertz car service, rent a car. Hurts, rent, rent, you know what I mean? Like you're gonna get anything. They're gonna throw everything they can at you because they they're gonna monetize all the crap keywords that nobody wants to pay for on people who run broad match like that. That's why it's very important you have a very tight negative list too. So if you guys have any questions about this or want to see more advanced videos on how I dig into it and actually build them out fully, just throw some comments down below the video and make sure you subscribe to our channel, like this video, give me a thumbs up, and we put some links in the description. Make sure you check those out. There's one to our Facebook group. I think you guys will dig that. Other than that, I'll see you in the next video.